just going to tell you another story from an account that's uh, covered in Truth Proof. Uh, it's 5 a.m. and I'm at Dane's Dyke or at the entrance to Dane's Dyke. Now, at the brow of this hill where the van's just going, we'll go back down. A man coming home a night shift uh, at, at the industrial estate in Bessingby says at 3.30 in the morning, he was at the brow of the hill just coming down and his headlights caught a glimpse of, of eyes roughly where that car's parked. And as he approaches where the car is now, he says uh, there was something on all fours that he could only describe as looking like the creature from the werewolf uh, in the film, The American Werewolf in London. Now, I'm not about to subscribe to the idea that werewolves exist. I'm only relating a story and definitely not existing in the way that people want to imagine them in films and with full moon and silver bullets. But no doubt this area is producing stories like this. That is the entrance. We'll just cross the road. This is 5 a.m. 2016 now. Now you imagine coming across something like that at that time in the morning. It'd be pretty scary, to say the least. Now it runs for a considerable distance to the right of the, and the left of the road. It's deep, it's heavily wooded. What is it that people keep reporting at this location and at Flixton, which we'll cover shortly? I've just got into a small part of Dane's Dyke. An area we call Darkwood. We have heard strange sounds in here and uh, that's with more than one person and I've brought people in here who all sort of tell me that they feel uneasy in this part of the wood. Come on, the stories of this strange creature, once again, that uh, have been coming out of this section of wood. Now, I'm not entirely sure what to make of them. Lots of people are telling me this and they're all describing a very similar thing. However, um, you know and I know that things like werewolves in movies don't exist. But that does not stop these stories from coming out. I don't think the, the UK has got enough uh, land and secluded areas to support what would be an apex predator. However, I think we should be looking for the more paranormal aspect, regardless of what anybody wants to think. If these things are being reported independently by witnesses year in, year out, then there has to be some truth to it. These stories that I've been collecting are not easy to get. People aren't just coming forward and telling me things on an everyday basis. Look at that branch up there. How did that happen? So as we head through this little bit of wood, we've only covered a small section of it. 
it just gives you a feel of the place. I think I could probably come here for 10 years and never see anything because although I've got the stories, they're that infrequent and random. It leaves me wondering if there's a pattern with weather, seasons, even magnetism at Earth. I don't know, but plus we've got uh, Bempton. Come on, dog. We've got Bempton uh, just a mile away. And there's lots of strange happenings there. But for now, you've had a short uh, tour of a small section of Darkwood. Which is featured in part in the book The Truth That Leaves No Proof.